Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Bedicher, and I'd like to go over the SWIN 5232 online orientation document. And I last revised this August of uh, this year. Well, first of all, thank you for enrolling in this class. I know you have many choices in terms of university courses and professors, and I appreciate you enrolling in this class. And to help you get comfortable with this class, I've designed this orientation document. And it applies both to web and face-to-face -face versions of the class. Well, we're going to skip the web base because this is a face-to-face. Um, -face. So come down here. Let's see. Students enrolled in the face-to-face -face are expected to attend all lectures. As I mentioned before, you're allowed to miss one class. If you miss more than one class, then there's a two-point reduction in your final grade. Now, please be aware that any student not present during class role will be considered absent. So if I take the role at, let's say, 4.02, you show up at 4.06, then you'll be considered missing for that day. Also, I do take role after the break. So if we break at, let's say, 5.15, and uh, you come back, or we break at 5.15, come back at 5.30, I take role at 5.35, you come in at 540, then you missed it, so you'd be considered absent. Now, you can only be absent in one class, but please be very aware that I'm expecting you to be back at class on time. Here's um, the link for the syllabus there. I'll, the students were having problems with that, so I'll send a, a, a version that you can read. And here's an important quote I want you to be aware of. Knowledge is having the right answer. Intelligence is asking the right questions. And what will happen during class at times, I might call on a student, let's say uh, Pradeep, and I say to Pradeep, Pradeep, ask me a question about class diagrams. So not only do you have to read through the notes, but I want you to be able to ask questions. And I find one way to become more intelligent is by asking lots of questions. And that's how you gain knowledge. So in other classes, a lecture, you know, you sit back, you don't interact. This one, you're going to be very active in this class, and I'm going to expect you to ask lots of questions. And don't you want to become more intelligent? I mean, that's a no-brainer in my book. Okay, to access the Google Drive, all you need to do is send me a Gmail, I don't need all this other information, okay? Once you send me an email with a Gmail, I'll send you the password for the course materials, and I'll also add it to, uh, I'll add you to the Google Drive. Now, several students, maybe you've had used Blackboard before, but if this is your first time using Blackboard, there's a link, as I mentioned, in the syllabus. Also, here's an email address and a phone number to get something clarified with Blackboard. Also, if you're having problems, send me an email and I'll, I'll help you or I'll say please contact the folks at Blackboard. I've designed the quizzes in Blackboard and they're designed to help you succeed in the class. And the idea is sometimes you'll have quizzes, maybe you'll have a quiz on sequence diagram, and it needs to be completed before we actually have the lecture on sequence diagrams. And what I'm trying to do is get you to be proactive in learning the material prior to having the class. That will help you know what you don't know. So pay very careful attention to the quiz deadlines, and that's why sometimes quizzes are uh, given prior to the actual lecture. Also, if you start a quiz, be very careful to select the correct quiz. Once you start a quiz, there's no turning back. I will not reset a quiz if you choose the wrong quiz. Also, you'll notice on the uh, quizzes, there's a time limit, usually two minutes per question. So for 10 questions, you'll see a 20 minute time limit. Quizzes stop at the end of a given time, so make sure you pace yourself when you take the quizzes. Okay, I talked about 
quiz uh, availability, discipline, having quizzes prior to class to help you know, figure out to know what you don't know. Okay, I've gone over the syllabus here. This was uh, Jay, he was a very good TA. He already he just graduated, so we've got a new TA there. I mentioned the appraisal. Uh, pay very careful attention to your studies and grades. Your scholarship may depend on your grades, so it's important you take responsibility for your efforts and action in this class. I also have another motto, which is no excuses, only results. And what I find in industry, if I'm expected to get a piece of software done, my client does not care that I didn't get it done. They're going to be pissed off, especially they're paying money. So, and they don't care about my excuses. Did you get it done? Yes or no? That's the bottom line. So no excuses, only results. Okay, I've talked about the uh, quizzes. It is not possible to make up quizzes. I've also mentioned about cell phones and that you can lose three points on your final course average. So please make sure you turn off cell phones. A couple other things here. Uh, the best way to reach me is via email. I try to respond to emails within six hours when I receive those emails. If I refer to the book, I typically say chapter something, course notes are unit one, unit two, and so forth. Okay, I've talked about the attendance. I've talked about uh, cheating. And uh, let's see. What type of student are you? I started teaching back in, uh, oh my, 1984, many, many years ago. And um, over the years, I find there are two types of students. Some students want a degree, but not an education. And then those who want an education and they're driven to learn. Let me describe to those that want a degree don't want an education. They show up to class, have, they haven't read the notes, they might have printed it out 10 minutes beforehand. They might cheat on quizzes, they might cheat on projects. They don't ask questions in class. They show no excitement towards the class or learning. They enroll in all the easy classes that require little, if any, effort. And the only time they stop by to see me is to beg for a higher grade. They come by after the midterm and, uh, oh, I, I, can I do any extra credit assignment? And the answer is no. And uh, sometimes, what can I do to get a better grade? And I had a student recently stop by. What can I do? He had the lowest grade on an exam. He stopped by to say what he could do better. I told him, sit in the front row, do this, this, this. The student did not do anything different. And also, that final exam reflected the fact they didn't change. They say that insanity is when you do the same thing over and over and you expect a different result. So try to figure out what it takes to be, you know, a good student. And basically it's being very well prepared. Students driven to learn, they show up very well prepared for class. They're proactive. They ask questions. They might put solutions on the board without being asked. Uh, they sit near the front of the class, if not the front of the class. They're curious. They ask lots of questions. They're not afraid of asking a dumb question. They stop by my office to chat. Now, if, if you come by my office, I'm a nice guy. And, uh, you know, we, we don't have to talk about software engineering. You could tell me how you got into software engineering. What are your career goals? What are you interested in technology or anything? You can talk cricket, whatever, whatever you like. Also, they're focused on learning as much as you can, as opposed to just getting an A. Okay, so we'll stop here on the uh, online orientation document, and I'll go over the uh, unit one notes. Thank you.